This video is going to review how to do two digit times one digit multiplication so that it'll be fresh in your memory before you move on to multiplying bigger numbers together. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you line up your numbers with the ones place. So my digits that are in the ones place are lined up one on top of the other. The second step that you're going to do is you're going to multiply the digits in the ones place. So we're going to multiply four times six. Four times six, which equals 24. The third step is to regroup if necessary. So what that means is that whatever's in your ones place comes down in your ones place. The tens place is going to get regrouped up into the tens place. So that two goes up high. And what I like to do is put a little plus sign by it to help me remember that I'm going to be adding that number. Okay, so that's the first step. 4 times 6 is 24. We've regrouped our 2. And then our second step is to multiply the tens digit by our bottom number in the ones place. So we're going to do 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18. And then we need to add that 2. 18 plus 2 is 20. Now we can put our 20 down here and we get 204. So another way to think about that is to say, okay, well 34, that's the same thing as 30 times 6 and 4 times 6. 30 times 6 is 18, 3 times 6 is 18, add the 0. 4 times 6 is 24, and then if we add those together, we get 204. You can do either way, it doesn't matter, whatever you're more comfortable with, um, it's personal preference. Okay, let's do another one. This one is 18 times 9, so I'll show you a couple different strategies. So we're going to line up our numbers, and we're going to start with the digits in the ones place, so we're going to do 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is 72, so we're going to put our 2 down here, and we're going to carry that 7. And I'm going to put the plus sign. Then the next step is to multiply the tens digit by the bottom number. So 1 times 9, which is 9, then we're going to add the number we carry. 9 plus 7 is 16. So we put 16 down for our answer, 162. If you wanted to do it using the other strategy, which we call partial products, you could say, okay, well, 18 is the same thing as 10 plus 8. So we're going to multiply both of those by 9. So 10 times 9 and 8 times 9. 10 times 9 is 90. And 8 times 9 is 72, and then we add them together. 2 and 16, 162. Okay, so whichever strategy works best for you, just um, make sure that you are working the problems out carefully and checking your multiplication facts as you go.